Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, February the 5th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, double score Monday. Hooah. <laughs> yeah, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. We just got done double score weekend. We got double score Monday to kind of finish off before we have the update tomorrow, which is pretty cool. Now is the chance to uh, get some traction on the old season 15 scoreboard. And if you have any booster drinks already, you score boosters. If you don't, you can even buy them from the Atomic Shop for 100 items each. I know myself, I don't really buy them, but I always thought to give people the option that they can do this in case they don't know. All right, I do have a few that are different than uh, maybe yourself. I had rerolled, go to the pit, and kill trogs, and I got some different ones instead. Now, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. Give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, or even an experienced player, if this is a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble, I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. You guys help me out with that with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. All right, there is not a whole lot here that we can do in our camp. Let's go ahead, repair armor, weapons, or power armor five. Okay, so you hear me talk about this many times. We go ahead and repair armor, weapons, or power armor. You always repair the stuff that you own day to day or you have in your stash box before you go ahead and repair anything else that you find in the wasteland okay uh, i always like to promote repair kits okay let's take a look at that real quick here in the atomic shop you could buy repair kits in case you didn't know it'll be under utility so you could actually buy repair kits here okay and sometimes they're on sale like this here as with lunch boxes and such but I'm a huge fan of repair kits because I usually use them. You see me use them all the time out in the field. In case I'm not close to a tinkerer's bench. Uh, they're especially good if you don't have Fallout first. If you're very limited on the resources that you have. And having a repair kit to fix that uh, armor or fix that weapon is very necessity. Okay. So that's why I always kind of, you know, I kind of just kind of push up repair kits saying how, uh, how great they are to have. And I, I use uh, repair kits also for these particular daily weekly challenges, so I also save them as well. Okay, uh, repair kits. I know we got one today in the Atomic Shop for free. This is another good example. Uh, our free daily item that we get. Wait down here, special free, special offer. So this is the free repair kit that we get today for everyone. Okay, so this is a good example here. We can get one for free. We can get them off the scoreboard as well. There's several pl places I can get. Uh, we get. Uh, repair kits for free off the scoreboard so just give you guys a couple options here okay now uh, let's go inside my camp there's a couple couple ways you can use these uh, repair kits or you can repair your armor weapons or power armor okay let's go ahead and we're open up our pit boy here slide it over to weapons for example uh this uh alien blaster that i use so you can see it's below 100 percent. so i can repair this now because and i'd rather do that I'd rather repair the stuff that I own. So if I want to use a repair kit, let's say I'm out in the field, nowhere's near a your tinker's workbench, I can go ahead and you see the bottom of the screen says inspect, repair. So in my case it's RS, whatever buttons for you, you select that, it brings up this screen. And then you see at the bottom of the screen you see repair kit, in my case it's Y, whatever button it is for you, you select that. It'll bring up a basic repair kit, or if you have improved repair kits. Okay, so basic repair kits will repair your item up to 100% and improve repair kit will uh, repair it up to 150%, okay, FYI. Let's go ahead, we're gonna use this basic repair kit. There we go, bring it up to 100%, and that counts one for five. Okay, let's back out. Uh, let's go to my uh, stash box here. So there are some weapons here that I noticed the other day that are a little low that we can repair. Let's go ahead and grab them. I know I have a lot of stuff. I usually use these different types of weapons for the different dailies that pop up. That's why I have so many, in case you guys are wondering. I, think I, like, I like to change it up once in a while. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead to our weapons workbench now. Now, in this case, let's go modify repair. All right. 
So at a workbench, you can either use the workbench to repair or a repair kit, FYI. So there's, let's take this burning love, for example, this bow. Let's go ahead, inspect, repair. Let's go ahead, select Y at the bottom of the screen, whatever button that is for you, select that. And as you can see, we have a choice between workbench repair, X, which is gonna cost resources, of course, or we can use repair kit. FYI on that. So let's go ahead, use the basic repair kit on this at the workbench, pretty cool, All right? Now let's go ahead, take this alien disintegrator, same kind of deal. Go inspect, repair. And this time we're gonna use the weapons workbench. Go ahead and repair it. There we go, three for five. All right, so I just give you guys, show you the different ways uh, that we have uh, op to our you know, options, I guess. Go back here. We're gonna put the stuff back in so I don't uh, forget. Uh, now let's take a look at the old uh, armor workbench here. Let's go ahead, go modify, repair. Let's check here, see if there's any pieces of armor. No, so I'm pretty I'm pretty stacked up there. Everything is pretty full. All right, so now we're gonna have to go out and try to find some items that we can repair. Uh, let's go up here. There's a couple of uh, blood eagles up here, usually, and uh, maybe they'll have armor or weapons on them. Where's this little buddy? Get that, uh... Oh, there's right there. He's, uh, hiding there. Alright, so he does have a machete. Good stuff that we can repair. Let's go ahead and grab that. No, you, you don't have to come up here if you're not near here. You can go get some Scorched or Super Mutants or whatever enemy that's uh, closest to you and do the same thing. Okay, you can do the exact same thing. All right, so he has an assault rifle. Perfect. So that works out good. All right, let's head back to my camp. And we will repair these using the workbench. Because I like to say the repair kits for videos like this. Just uh, just so I have them. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and modify repair the weapons workbench here. Now the machete is the one that we just picked up from that blood eagle. So again, it doesn't have to be those two bloody eagles I just went to near my camp. If you're, you know... Literally anywhere else, if you come across an enemy that has a, uh, a weapon or a piece of armor on them, you can do the same thing. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, we will inspect repair. We'll use a workbench repair. And then this assault rifle, inspect repair, workbench repair. Done, just like that. Repair armor weapons or power armor five. It could be all weapons. It could be all power armor, whatever you like to do, but always highly recommend Repair your own stuff first, okay, before you go ahead and do what I just did, okay? Uh, let's just scrap this, uh, this stuff here. There we go. Okay, what's next, Jim? What is next? That's pretty much what we can do here in our camp. Let's go ahead, kill a Ragsteg 5. So we talked about this just the other day. I find Ragsteg's all over the wasteland, like all over the place. Uh, especially right down through here, through the forest area. Uh, if you begin up here the way we're making your way down the Flatwoods. Uh, but for me to make a video on that, it's not a very reliable spot there because there can be other animals uh, that can spawn at the same spots there. Uh, the only real good spot for ragstags that I find is right here at Denton Sons Construction. Let's go ahead and fast travel down here. Now, if you can't make your way down the Denton Sons Construction, and you're only limited to the forest, and you're just going to have to spend a little more extra time looking for the rad stags, that's all. But if you go in around the Rayward and around the uh, uh, Flatwoods region, you might come across a couple rad stags. You might have to server hop a couple times. So we're here at Denton Sons Construction. We're going to head up the road here and uh, east. And there'll be a red decapitated barn. And they'll be f usually from uh, four to six albino rad stags here. To me, this is the most reliable spot for rad stags. If you can make it down here to get the daily done, do it. <laughs> It'll save you a lot of time and energy, frustration. Well, there's our rad stags there. Now, if you do come here and you're limited to uh, public servers, FYI, all you have to do is server hop. Because what has happened is someone has already come here and killed them, okay? And uh, that's just part of the game. And you'll have the server hop to a different server where they are more available, okay? 
Uh, one thing about albino rat states is they will come after you. Oh, I'll see you see what I mean. He's like, what are you doing to my uh, kin here, bud? <laughs> Just like that, guys. Great spot for rat states. So there's actually six here today, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. Right down here, Denton Sons Construction, just a little bit to the east. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Um, there's a couple here that we can do at the same time. Ah, uh, there is something I want to try out, though, before I look after the, uh... the wolves. Uh, someone had mentioned to me, I think it was last week, one of my subscribers had mentioned that mutant hounds count as canines. And uh, it's something I've always wanted to try, but uh, I try to make the videos as fast as possible. But uh, I'm going to try that here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go after some mutant hounds. Uh, sell mutant hound chops to an NPC vendor. So we're going to need four mutant hound meat to do this. And at the same time, we're going to uh, kill a canine five. So... We're going to try that out. We're going to try it out and see how it works. So mutant hounds, you can find them all, all around the wasteland and around super mutants. Not all the time, but most of the time. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop up here to Graft and Steel. I find Graft and Steel is one of the best reliable spots for uh, four plus mutant hounds. You guys have seen me bring you up here many a times. Uh, it is going to get a little hairy. <laughs> It is going to get a little hairy, whatever that was. Because uh, we'll be going after some super mutants at the same time. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of help. Hopefully they haven't killed the mutant hounds. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go this way here. Oh, there's our mutant hound right there. Oh, kill a canine right there. Look at that, guys. Nice. Alright, so again, we're right here. Good old graft and steel. And uh we're gonna go after these mutant hounds. They're gonna count as canines. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead, kill a canine five in the form of mutant hounds. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Now uh, when you kill a mutant hound, don't forget to pick up the mutant hound meat. Let's go ahead here. Hopefully those things didn't destroy those. Mutant hounds on me. Again, it's going to get a little hairy down here because of all the super mutants that are around here. There should be another mutant hound down here. Here's right there. Kill a canine too. Perfect. That's awesome. So don't forget to pick up the mutant hound meat. We are going to need it for the next uh, daily. The day that you need. <laughs> I'm shooting at these guys and the uh, vertebrates are shooting at them. Awesome. Oh, it's over there. Alright. I thought it said 100 for a second there. I think, wow, that's lucky. Alright, let's go inside this door here. And sometimes there's a couple uh, mutant hounds hanging out in here. Not today. I don't. Buddy, why don't we just relax? Oh, there's another mutant hound down there. Let's get him. Good stuff. So that's pretty cool. Mutant hounds will count. Oh, there's our other mutant hound up there. There's our fourth one. Yeah, you just keep howling away there, pally boy. Get him, Jim. Geez, you're whipping right by him there. As I say, it can be a little hairy up here. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, you can do it a little quieter. 
Uh, but we are really uh, set up for failure because we have those vertebrates around at the same time. Ooh. Everything was going so good. Alright. Again. You're here at Crafted Steel. You're here to complete the daily. Sell Mutant Hound Chops to an NPC Vendor 1. Now since December the 5th, 2023 update, we now need four Mutant Hound Meat to make one Mutant Hound Chops. We got our Mutant Hound Meat from up here. Where are we at here? Graft and Steel. Four plus Mutant Hounds. Okay. Go to our cooking station here. Any old cooking station will do. Go down to All Food. And you'll see something here that's fairly new since December the 5th called Light Mutant Hound Chops, where we only require two Mutant Hound Meat. Now, this will not work. We have to craft Mutant Hound Chops, not the light stuff. The light Mutant Hound Chops will not work for this daily. We proved that out. There's Mutant Hound Chops there, and as you can see, Mutant Hound Chops is a simple recipe. Basically, as soon as you pick up Mutant Hound Meat, you automatically learn Mutant Hound Chops. It's not a recipe you have to go find or buy. You automatically learn it from picking up Mutant Hound Meat. So let's go ahead and craft Mutant Hound Chops. All right, let's back out here. Now, any old vendor at any train station will do. Let's go ahead. Sell Mutant Hound Chops to this cat here. There we go. Sell Mutant Hound Chops to the PC vendor one for one. Wow, done. Done. All right, we're on a roll here. <laughs> we're on a roll here, guys. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's go ahead. Sell Wolf Ribs to an NPC vendor one. Okay, it's a great spot for some wolves. If you're lucky enough, I was hoping that uh, leader of the pack would show up here at Tyler County Fairgrounds, but unfortunately not. Uh, so one of the best spots to go is right up here at Autumn Acre Cabins for wolves, okay? And that is if leader of the pack doesn't show up. Leader of the pack would be my, my, my number one go-to because leader of the pack is not there. This spot here, Autumn Acre Cabins right here. You'll fight anywhere from four to six wolves, okay? Let's go ahead. There's a wolf there. We only need one. Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, so we got raw wolf meat. Let's go ahead and we will uh, take care of the other guys. While we are here. Actually, you know what? We'll leave them. We'll leave it for someone else in case someone needs a wolf. Okay, we'll go somewhere else for the other daily. Alright, so we have our wolf rib. Sorry. Raw wolf meat. Now we need to go to a cooking station. And any old cooking station will do. We might as well pop back up here to Grafton Station. Sorry guys, I'm a little <laughs> offset with everything that's been happening here. If we get there. Alright. So we're here at Grafton Station. Any cooking station will do. I just come here because it's one of my go-to spots. My creature of habit. Alright, so we have our raw wolf meat. And we are here to cook. Wolf ribs. Let's go ahead to our cooking station here. <clears throat> All food. We'll go down here to Wolf Ribs near the bottom. Right there. So again, Wolf Ribs. Simple recipe. You automatically learn Wolf Ribs by picking up raw wolf meat. Okay, it's not a recipe you have to go buy or find. You automatically learn it from picking up raw wolf meat. We only need one. So let's, there we go. Let's craft it. Let's back out. I would say that's probably the most important part, is the cooking. Okay, jeez. So now we have our wolf ribs. Any NPC vendor, any train station on the map will do. Sell these wolf ribs to this cat. Done. Sell wolf ribs to an NPC vendor one for one. Done just like that, guys. Just like that. Okay. Cook a meat-based meal. So we cooked two of them already. We cook the raw, uh, wolf ribs right here. We cook the mutant hound chops. 
And now let's go after some other meat. One of the best spots for meat is right down here in good old Flatwoods. Let's go ahead to the uh, Green Country Lodge. All right, so there'll be all kinds of animals down here. Chicken up there. Okay, good stuff. Be some mole rats here. Let's get rid of these mole rats. We got the mole rat meat. Now I do have to mention, if you do kill an animal, there is a chance, a slight chance, that there's a slight chance that the meat will not be there. It has happened in the past. I haven't seen it happen lately. Okay, but uh, it can and will happen, but I still want to mention it to people just in case, hey, where's all the meat at and this game's jipping me and stuff like that. So I like to kind of just explain it a little bit. All right, so we have some opossum meat. We have two mole rat meat now. Let's go ahead down the road. <clears throat> There'll be some cooking stations down here. Excuse me. Now, you don't have to go for those guys here. Right by this uh, house here with the red star, there's a bunch of Brahmin there. You can kill the Brahmin if you like. Uh, there's Brahmin up there, up on the side of the hill, two of them. There's another a couple of possums. There's all kinds of Brahmin down there. See that garage with the yellow kind of side roof there? About uh, three or four Brahmin in there as well. You can go ahead and kill one of them if you like. All right, let's go to our cooking station here. All food. Again, all these recipes are all simple. You automatically learn a lot. The majority of these recipes by picking up that meat. So we learned... Awesome possum bacon by picking up a possum meat. Let's go ahead and craft that. Okay, three for five. Keep going down here. Mall rat chunks. We learned from picking up mall rat meat. Go ahead and cook two of these bad boys. Done. Cook a meat based meal, five for five. Done, just like that, guys. And as I mentioned, we only did three here, but we did uh, cook. Get off that screen, Jim. Seems things to be a little more stable there now. Uh, we did cook the wolf ribs and we did cook the mutant hound chops, so they did count towards uh, cook a meat based meal. Okay. This video would have been a lot shorter if it was major, <laughs> major, major issues in this video. It's uh, definitely not a quick, easy guide. <laughs> Lots going on, so I did end up re rolling uh, Kill a Legendary Enemy. And uh, the video is over an hour long, and I still yet to find a legendary enemy. So I ended up re-rolling legendary enemy, and I got kill a creature while wearing a costume 10. Okay, so getting on this subject, a creature, anything that's not a robot or a human, okay? And you gotta wear a costume. So many outfits out there are considered costumes, but there are some that are not. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, what I would recommend to people is just wear what you're wearing and try it out, okay? Now, we tried this one out yesterday, the, yest uh, yesterday or the day before, uh, the outfit I'm wearing now, though. This is Reinhardt's, uh, Reinhardt's outfit, and we got this from the Burning Love event just, uh, just this week. Right down here. So, if we complete four or four challenges, we get Reinhardt's jumpsuit, and that's what I'm wearing. And this proved out the other day that this does count towards uh, wearing a costume. Some people wear a witch costume, some people wear a skeleton costume. But it uh, doesn't have to necessarily be a costume, it can be any outfit at all. Just that there are some outfits that are considered costumes. There's so many out there uh, that I don't really know which ones are which and what qualifies and what doesn't qualify. So what I would recommend, just wear what you're wearing, okay? That's probably your best bet. Okay, let's go ahead. Now again, I had to re-roll for this because I just couldn't find a legendary enemy. And uh, we had some technical <laughs> issues with the servers earlier on in the game, in the video, uh, which was a huge pain. So again, creatures, anything but a human and a robot. Let's go ahead and get these mongrels here. Let's see if that counts. Let's uh, make sure we have it highlighted, Jim. As you can see, one for ten, it counted. Okay, so these guys are just wild mongrels. Okay, just to give you guys some options. Uh, 
uh, scorched, ghouls, cryptids, okay? They're creatures as well. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, we have some insects that are down here. Just go after some insects now. So they count as well, as you can see. Good stuff. Try to get this done. I apologize. Uh, holy, see that? And, um, and I apologize for uh, the video, why it maybe seemed to be cut up quite a bit. I don't like cutting my videos up, but uh, is this one here was unavoidable. Like, is it not much luck at all? Okay. So there we go, we're done. <laughs> we're finally done after uh, over an hour. And But of course, when you see this video, it's not going to be an hour long. But um, So I did have to change, uh, re-roll a couple, which I also mentioned at the beginning of the video. So there we go. Uh, hopefully you have an easier time than I do with the servers. Uh, the servers were uh, causing me some huge issues at the beginning of the game. If you guys uh, don't watch the entire video, if you guys like to just use the chapters, but uh, just thought I'd mention. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, though. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe Starwin138, thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.